Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our research on vulnerable clone detection using subgraph isomorphism. This is a joint work with Shi Jae Woo, Joyce Jeong Hwang, and my advisor, Su Song. PHP is a popular server side web programming language. In 2022, about 80% of the websites use PHP as a server side language. Also, PHP open source software has made rapid progress, reaching almost 140K projects. However, with this trend, the number of bugs in PHP applications continues to increase. This means that systematic testing of PHP applications is needed. There have been previous studies on finding various web vulnerabilities via static analysis. Among them, PHP ON has received a lot of attention by presenting a scalable way for detection of common web vulnerabilities. Then, how could PHP ON find bugs in a scalable way? With a given application, this work proposed a code property graph, as known as CPG, uh, which is a general representation of mind source code. Especially, CPG merges graphs of program analysis, namely abstract syntax tree, AST, control flow graph, CFG, and program dependence graph, CPPDG, into a joint structure. And this work leverages a graph traverse query that defines how to traverse on CPG to find bugs. Therefore, through this unified representation and traverse rules to different code properties, we can test a larger amount of code in a scalable way. With this intuition, PHP on found about 200 bugs from about 2,000 GitHub projects. As I said before, graph traverse query models how to traverse on CPG. Now, using this access as vulnerable code as an example, I will briefly explain how a query could be composed. It first searched the core node for the sync functions. In case of XSS bug, the sync function is equal. So traverser is started from the root to AST node for equal function. This query then identifies the data flows. Uh, as you can see, data flow for the message variable exists between two statements. So the query performs backward traverser for this data flow entry. And note that since there are no appropriate statizations on the visited nosy AST subtrees, this query decided to continue to traverse. And on next traverser for the data flow entry, uh, we can reach through the AST subtree up to the gap variable that stores the user input, which is an input source. Therefore, as a result of traverser, we can find a vulnerable path from an external input uh, to a secret critical function core. Although PHP on has produced great results, it has one limitation. The query models the general characteristics of the target bug. Therefore, it conservatively checks whether the, whether the sanitizations are exist on the testing path. This means that such a query is designed to be cross grained uh, meaning that it can produce several first negatives. Uh, for example, uh, from the vulnerable code of the previous example, a developer can patch a bug by injecting sanitization logic, HTML special characters. In this case, since there is a sanitization, cross-grained query will stop the traverser and determine this application is not vulnerable to access this bug. However, an attacker is able to trigger bug by using JS protocol to bypass the sanitization. Now, this means that the application is still vulnerable to access this bug due to the incorrect sanitizations. And to end this problem, one can devise multiple queries for each sanitization logic. However, it requires significant engineering effort to manually model the correctness of each sanitization. So the key question for our work is that, is there any testing tool that can efficiently handle this challenge? So to answer this question, we propose here our framework hidden CPG, which is a vulnerable code detection tool with code property graphs. To devise multiple queries for each sanitization logic, our approach leverages known web vulnerabilities, especially from the list of known CVs or common messages from GitHub, we extract vulnerable code with the locations of their source and sync. And by ex extracting the vulnerable CPG from these calls and making it as a query, we can prepare multiple queries. And note that among the known bugs, 
there are also bugs that start from incorrect sanitization. We then change the paradigm of statically identifying vulnerabilities as a subgraph match matching problem that checks if the target CPG contains a vulnerable CPG. For example, query CPG one and two are not subgraph of the target CPG. So we can see that the application is safe to these bugs. However, we can see that query CPG three is a subgraph of the target CPG. This means that we found a bug corresponding to this known bug. Unfortunately, uh, there are two challenges to realize our approach. First, this matching problem is known as subgraph isolation problem, which has the MP complete nature. For example, let's assume that uh, the number of nodes and edges of target CPG and query CPG is as follows. Then, even using VF2, which is known as the best matching algorithm, it requires huge number of comparisons. To solve the, this problem, we prune the CPGs to boost the efficiency of matching. Uh, especially we leverage the three optimization techniques introduced in CBCD for pruning graph. Uh, for example, one of, the, one of the optimization techniques excludes irrelevant edges and nodes. In detail, because query CPG only has the, has the edge set C2B and B2B, it removes or edges and nodes of target CPG that are not in the edge set of query CPG. Through this optimization, the tool must perform uh, more matchings, but each matching will focus on a smaller group, so boosting the efficiency of matching. And please refer our paper and the CPC paper if you're interested in more details about other pruning techniques. And second challenge to realize our approach is that it is difficult to match graphs that are semantically identical, but synthetically different. Uh, for example, the two CPGs for these two calls do not match even, even if they are semantically identical. This is because the nodes representing the string constants search and input are different. And the name of the local variable are different with each other. Also, string, string represents printing context is different with each other. So this means that we need a proper level of abstraction for CPGs to increase the accuracy in matching. To address the challenge, we defined the, the level of graph abstraction. Especially, there are two constraints to optimize, optimize abstraction. It should not only tolerant to common modification of the code, but also preserve the vulnerable condition. For example, uh, one of our graph abstraction techniques normalize the, the terminal nodes to the unified node. Uh, for nodes representing printing context, normalization is performed uh, by combining the name of opening tag and attribute. Now, through subgraph matching on the normalized graph, we can find vulnerabilities in more diverse patterns. Now, I will show experimental evaluations on our system. To prepare a target CPG, we collected about 7,000 highly related applications. The total number of nodes and edges are 1.1 and 1.3 billion respectively. And to the best of our knowledge, uh, this benchmark represents the largest collection of pitch applications in a single study. To prepare a query CPG, we collected 103 queries, especially these queries contain uh, four kinds of vulnerabilities, including 10 bugs stem, uh, stem from incorrect sanitizations. Uh, first, we evaluated the efficiency in terms of finding real-world bugs. Especially, we counted the number of matched subgraphs to see the number of potential bugs. Our system found about 2,000 potential bugs, uh, including 39 incorrect sanitizations. For each vulnerability, we found the, total, uh, the following number of potential bugs. In particular, we observed that many XSS bugs were detected through, uh, through our system. We then sampled and manually verified one, 103 reports from highly rated applications. As a result, we observed that about 14% of the reports were first positives. Among them, 12 reports stem from separate sanitizations in dynamic callbacks. For the remaining two reports, we observed that the developers implemented anti-CSRF protection properly. 
we reported the remaining 89 bonds to their corresponding vendors and we got 42 CVEs. Also, we analyzed re the relationship between the number of bonds and the size of the queries, which means the complexity of the found bonds. And we observed that many bonds were discovered due to this simple access as vulnerable code. This means that many developers do not pay attention to even simple security practice. We also observed that 10 reports resulted from uh, applying larger queries. And this result demonstrates that hidden CPC can identify non-trivial bugs that are difficult to find manually. We also analyzed the relationship between the number of vulnerable projects and the number of stars, which means uh, project popularity. The result shows that the results show that uh, vulnerable subgraphs match it more frequently in projects with fewer stars. This means that projects that receive less attention tend to refer to, to other code uh, introducing vulnerable clones. On the other hand, uh, we can see that more popular projects are, uh, the more they adhere to their own coding style and perform stricter security checks. The next evaluation, we compared hidden CPG against the two static analysis tool. PHP Run is a, a grep traversal based bug detection tool, and LIPS is an open source taint analysis tool. We ran those tools on the same benchmarks, consisting 60 applications from Yun's work and 50 applications from bugs for incorrect sanitizations. And as a result, hidden CPG found uh, more vulnerabilities than the others with less false negatives and positives. Then why our system found more bugs than the others? First, hidden CPG has multiple fine grained queries, so it was able to detect bugs that stem from incorrect sanitizations. Next, we have a comprehensive graph abstraction rule so that it was able to normalize the WordPress APIs as a sync. Uh, we also compared the performance of hidden CPG against PHP on. To complete its task of finding bugs in 7,000 projects, hidden CPG required approximately 60 days and 12 hours. Considering that a previous work took six days and 13 hours to find vulnerabilities in 2,000 projects with far more computing power, the execution time of hidden CPG is reasonable and demonstrates its efficiency in scalable subgraph matching. So despite of our result, our system has some points to improve. Hidden CPG requires manual effort for specifying the, the, the locations of sources and sinks of the known vulnerabilities to prepare queries. And it will be interesting research direction to automatically extract these spots. Hidden CPG also cannot detect separate sanitization logic in dynamic callbacks. And we note that this is a fundamental limitation of static analysis because the edges of these callbacks do not exist in, in the static nature of generating CPGs. Conclusion, we propose the hidden CPG, a clone detection system designed to identify various vulnerabilities. To increase the efficiency of the subgroup matching, we applied three optimization techniques introduced in CBCD and several methods of abstract CPGs. Finally, hidden CPG found about 2,000 potential web vulnerabilities, including 89 confirmed bugs. And finally, we open our source code of clone detection tool on GitHub to boost future research. So if you want to utilize our framework, please visit our repository. With that, thank you very much, and I'd be happy to take any questions. Thank you very much for, for a very interesting talk. Um, this, this certainly looks like something that's an example of great real-world impact, finding this number of, of vulnerabilities. So are there any questions from the audience? I have a quick one to uh, to start while others are thinking of questions. So on sure. the, I think, two slides back, you mentioned about manually specifying sources and and sinks um, as as a potential for, for future work. Um, what do you think? Uh, is there a promising direction that could be taken towards this objective? 
uh, actually uh, then need to analyze the CVA reports. So uh, where is the source and where is the sink? So the machine should, machine needs to um, specify the location uh, of, 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 of the sources and sink uh, by analyzing the reports, the, the contents of the reports. I see. So you you get that from the reports to say this is a source and this is a this is a sink. Yes, yes, in description. Right. And maybe a, a second uh, question, just going to back to your earlier point about um, looking at known known vulnerabilities. Um, do you think that you'll have to update the system over time with new query patterns as as new types of um, uh, vulnerable patterns emerge? Uh, yes, 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 actually. So when, when we found some first negatives were, uh, when new vulnerabilities are occurred, then we need to uh, extract the extract the vulnerability and store to the query DB. So, yes. Right, right. So the, the tool is extensible and it can be, um, yeah, can be improved in that yes, way. Take, yes, 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 that's right. Excellent. Any further questions from, from anyone else in the audience? Uh, yes, uh, Chunmin, please go ahead. Okay, um, so hello, and uh, thanks for the presentation. So. I have a quick, quick question. Um, can this approach be applied to other programming languages as well? So instead of PHP, we can apply it to other programming language. Yes, yes. Maybe CPG was originated from C language. And yes, CPG is an intermediate representation originally created from the C language. So therefore, I believe that it will work well for C language as well. And it will be interesting in research direction. Uh, and not that. Since the queries we have collected only targeted web vulnerabilities in PHP, so uh, for the C language, you need to prepare a separate queries uh, for vulnerabilities that the C language may have. Okay, I see. Thank you. Thank you.